Hi, I'm Mandy Groose, Public Services Manager at Tiffin Seneca Public Library. Welcome to our February Make It at Home Craft Program. Today I'll be showing you how to make this wooden bead garland. Provided in the kits are 20 wooden beads, white paint, a paintbrush, two skewers, a cardboard box, a square cardboard template, and three different sizes of jute twine. You'll need to provide scissors and tape. First thing you're going to do is cut the flaps off of the cardboard box. We're going to be using this as our drying rack. Doesn't have to be perfect. The next thing you're going to do is paint the bees. First, you're going to take one of the skewers and you're going to feed the bees onto the skewer. Once you have the beads on the skewer, you're going to spread them out a little bit, give them space. We're going to use the cardboard box as our drying rack. Next, you're going to take the paint and the brush. You're going to apply two coats of paint to the entire beads, letting it dry in between coats. I've applied two coats of paint and allowed the beads to dry completely. The next thing you're going to do is create the tassel. You're going to take the longest piece of string, about 72 inches long, and you're going to take the square cardboard template and you're going to wrap it around until you reach the end. You're going to hold it in place. And you're going to take the second longest piece of twine and you're going to feed it underneath. You're going to create a double knot at the top. Next, you're going to cut the bottom of the loops to free it from the cardboard. Take the smallest piece of twine and you're going to wrap it close to the top to create the head of the tassel. So it'll look like this when it's done. Just wrap it around. It and cut off the extra. Once you have the small piece of string around the top, you're going to trim the tassel to make all of the strings even. you're done, you should have a tassel with a long string attached. Next, you're going to string the painted beads onto the twine. I like to take a piece of tape and tightly wrap it around the end to make it easier to string. Once you have the beads on your twine, you're going to leave a little fiddle wiggle room and you're going to loop it 
and tie a knot. around a base, hanging from a doorknob. If you'd like to share your creation with us, post a picture in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.